This video will cover how to change an image based on the state of a control device. To do so, we need to add an event to our button to track the state change of the device. Double-click on the button image that we want to change within our GUI. Once you have opened this view, to see the actions and events within the button, you will then select the control device. For example, we will choose the VP440. Select the category where the state appears. In our example, we are choosing the source. Select the category and input the state. Drag the input state to the event section of the button within the center window. This will cause a pop-up to appear within the browser where we find an option for trigger type and an option to pick a specific value. For this example, we will use the trigger type for on change and leave the pick specific new value checkbox unselected. The difference between on change and on updates is that when we select on change, the brain needs an actual state change to occur for the event to execute. This means the power would have to change from off to on or on to off for the event to happen. If you query a device and the state reported is on, and the prior query also reported the state to be on, our event will not fire in this scenario. If we need an event to happen on any reported state value, then we would use on update instead of on change. The pick specific new value option allows the programmer to select from the possible list of states within the device driver. This option would remove the need to program a conditional statement to track multiple states. If we use the specific value option, we will then need to create a new event for each state within the device driver. Once the pop-up is closed, we will return to the builder view of the button. Now it's time to add a conditional statement to our event. Select the plus option within the event toolbar and you will see a list of options you can add to the event. Go ahead and select the conditional option. Drag the input state from the right-hand menu to the if of your conditional statement in the gray box. This will prompt another pop-up window for an operator and value option. For this example, we will use the equals operator, and then for value, there is a list of aliased inputs to select from. We will use the laptop value for our laptop GUI button. Once you click OK and the pop-up window disappears, click on your conditional statement so it's highlighted in gray, and then select the plus icon in the events toolbar. Choose update property from the list of options. The UI state is automatically set to default. Updating the UI state allows the programmer to select from the list of UI states available, default, pressed, selected, or disabled. For the training, we will select that if the input state equals laptop, then the UI state on this widget should be set to pressed. Add a second condition of else by clicking on the plus condition option to the right of the first if statement. Once you press that button, a list of conditions will appear for else if, else, and, and or. For this example, we will use the else option, and then we will need to add the second update property within the else to change the image back to default when the source changes. Else if is used when we have multiple states to track within a particular button or event. We would build out different update properties for each possible state available within the device driver. Else allows us to compare against all states. In our example, we are tracking for laptop. If any other state is reported by the device, our second condition would be met and the update property would be used. And is an operator used to track multiple states from multiple devices. An example would be if input equals laptop and power equals on, then update property to X. Or is an operator used to track multiple scenarios from different states? If input equals laptop or input equals wall plate, then update property to X. I hope you have a better sense of how to change an image based on the state of a controlled device. Thank you for watching.